most of the citizen assemblies, which is currently the popular mode, have usually between 80 and 100 people. They just did a major one in Austria on climate, which had 100 people selected at random with what they call a stratified sample, where their goal is to have a large pool selected at random, and then everybody in the pool sends in their demographic data, and then people are picked from that randomly selected pool to be able to mirror the demographic percentages that exist in the community or the society. So you're getting a microcosm of the whole, what's come to be called in professional circles, a mini public, the mini version of the public. Once you have that mini public, then you can give them privileged access to information, privileged in the sense that most people out in the world trying to figure it out don't necessarily have adequate information across the boards. And then there's a question of how much information do you actually include? That's hotly debated in some circles. It's like, okay, we're going to have a climate assembly. Should there be climate denier scientists as part of the briefing people or not? Since I'm trying to invoke and engage the wisdom and resourcefulness of the whole, I go, we need to get the climate denier people in there so that when the climate deniers out in the world look at the conference at this citizen assembly they can go oh my people and my ideas are represented here let's see what they did with it rather than no they didn't have my people so this is a biased sample but other people say climate is too urgent we need to give a variety of information to people educate them about climate dynamics and all the rest because we can't dilute that with this denier shit so there's different perspectives being battled out but the idea is to give people a, a good spectrum of opinion, how broad that spectrum is, is debatable, but there's general agreement. You're giving people a broad spectrum of different approaches, different information, 